probability. Now, probability of A given B. So, whenever you are calculating the probability, you are worry, you are calculating the number of elements in the sample space. Now, for this conditional probability, the sample space is not the original sample space, but the B. Number of B, number of elements of B, B becomes sample space. That is like this. Here, B. Here, A. So, you want B happen and A is happening. So, the entire B becomes, entire B become what? The sample space. After in B, how many of elements are of uh, A are there? That is the favorable. So, N of A intersection B by N of B is the prob conditional probability of A given B. Okay. Now, again I repeat, again I simulate. Define conditional event. What is a conditional event? Two events are there. One event has already happened and we are exploring the happening of the next event. It is like this. Consider an example. An army is there. The army has four white balls, five black balls. One ball is drawn. One ball is drawn. This ball is white. Now, without replacement, you are drawing the second ball. So, this ball, this is event B here. Event B here, which happened first. Now, the second draw. The second draw is your A. That is the meaning. Okay. So, this is the conditional event about. Next, we are taking up what is a called the multiplication theorem of probability. Multiplication theorem of probability, which it again can be asked as a essay question. State the question can be given like this state and prove multiplication theorem of probability. The question can be like that. or they may give the theorem statement itself. If A probability of A not equal to 0 probability of B not equal to 0, A comma B subsets of S, sample space, yes, sample space, then probability of yes, A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B given A. Either this or probability of A intersection B is same as probability of B into probability of A given B. Either this or this, any one of them is our question. Multiplication theorem of probability. Okay. The proof is very simple, straightforward, consists of some 5 to 6 steps and very easy provided you recollect the basic definition of probability. What is the basic definition of probability? The number of, the cardinal number of elements present in the event E divided by the number of elements in the sample space. That is N of A by N of S is nothing but probability of A. This is the guiding principle. This is the guiding principle. This is the guiding principle 1. This you need not write in solution. Don't write in solution. Don't write. This you need not write in solution. You have to remember this. That's all. And the second guiding principle is the probability of uh, A intersection B or N of A intersection B by N of A will give you probability of B given A. That was the definition given to you in the last uh, point, in the last question. In the last question, what we are doing? We are talking about a conditional event and the conditional probability. What is a conditional event? Conditional event is happening of B after happening of A. This is that. A happened. Afterwards, B is happening. So, the, 
number of elements of A will become what? The sample space elements. In A, how many of them belong to B will become the favorable cases. So, probability of B in. This is the guiding principle to if you, do, if you remember these two, you will able to write down the proof. Now, see proof of it. Now, the main proof. This you need not write. This you don't write in your exam. This is only the background backdrop based on which the solution is a arrived at. Proof. Consider N of A intersection B. What is N of A intersection? Probability of A intersection B now. Probability of A intersection B is probability of N number of elements present in A intersection B by probability of S sample space. Now what we do? N of A intersection B by N of A. This I am writing extra. This I am writing extra. The compensatory N of A by N of S. Right? So recollect this is A intersection B by N of A. N of A is becoming the sample space element. So in A how many of them belongs to B? So, this is nothing but probability of B given A. And what is this? A number of elements in A by number of elements in S. So, that is nothing but probability of A. So, this is A intersection B. Right. This is the first part is over. See how simple it is. Provided you, you have memorized and you know what these are. Yes. Now, the second part you see. Probability of A intersection B is nothing but N of A intersection B by N of S. Now, earlier I was dividing by N of A. Now, I would divide by what? N of N of uh, B I will divide. N of B. And N of B multiplied again. N of S. Now, as usual, this is B becomes a sample space. So, in B, how many of them are belonging to A? So, that becomes probability of A given B into probability of B. Therefore, we have here probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A given B, probability of A given B, A given B into probability of B. So, this is the part here. This concludes this particular theorem. Now, this question, in this particular question, the thing which I am telling you now is not asked, but it will be useful. Now, when I was discussing about the conditional probability or conditional event, I said there may be no influence of A on B. Example, I will tell you. You are tossing a coin. You are tossing a coin. And uh, you obtain head. That is uh, A event. A event is when a coin is tossed, you obtained head. Second time you are tossing the same coin. So, you are getting tail or head. Now, the happening of A has no bearing upon B. Okay. So, here such events are called, what do you call them? Call them? They are called independent events. In case of independent events, probability of B given A is same as probability of B. Similarly, probability of A given B will become probability of A. Okay? Utilize this here. Utilize this here. So, in that case, you will have probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B given A. In case of independent events, what is happening? Probability of P into probability of A. So, this is the condition for independent events. That is not asked in this, ex this particular question. The question here, by here, the question is completed. So, in case of independent events, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B into probability of A. The problem as such may not be asked in the exam, but the questions based on conditional event surely utilize this particular problem results. What is the problem? Problem is if A comma B are two independent events, independent events, then A bar comma B bar are independent 
that is the first one and the second one a bar comma b are independent third one a comma b bar are independent 